Hello, in, I'm Professor Matthew Rotella, and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over uh, the photometric light in Arnold. Basically, if you want photorealistic results out of a light in, in uh, your Miocene, and by photorealistic results out of a light, I mean like the kind of lensing that you would get from whatever light bulb that you are using in your scene. Uh, because the basically the lights uh, that you're going to be using in Maya uh, they will certainly light your scene, but if you want these sort of lensing effects from a bulb or something like that, the easiest way to get those would be to use a photometric light, because you're not going to be able to get these lensing results uh, easily any other way. You can try and have them transmit through an object, which should provide some sort of lensing on your light, but uh, uh, working with that sort of setup can introduce a lot of noise, and it can be rather finicky to fine-tune uh, how you want the light to refract through your object. So if you want lensing, uh, whether it be like on a sconce or from a flashlight or just even uh, the sort of distribution that you would get from incandescent bulbs and you want that to be photorealistic then you're going to need to use a photometric light uh, which to use a photometric light you're going to need an IES uh, file uh, which can uh, there's links to several different companies right here in Arnold's documentation I went to uh, Philips uh, and looked in here. I just picked a random uh, halogen IES profile. I just I went for this uh, 120 volt halogen bulb, whatever that may be, and I downloaded it. And uh, yeah, now let's make a light and uh, put it on there. So I'll go to Arnold Lights Photometric Light, and it'll give you a little node that looks like this, which. As you can guess, the uh, arrow uh, defines which direction the light will be pointing. And let's put the uh, photometry file on it. So I'll click on the little folder, select my IES, and I'll hit load. And now from here, I'll refresh my render, and I'm seeing I'm getting a little something. Obviously, it's a little dim. Here, I'll up my exposure. I'll try something like 8 which exposure and intensity control the same number, it's just different ways of uh, arriving at the math, and yeah, and you can see that sort of uh, lensing that I'm getting with the light, and I can position it, let's try and position it sort of along the ground and see what sort of like stretching, so to speak, we get. Uh, render, refresh, render, yeah, and you can see those results that I'm getting out of the bulb. And it can be a really uh, good way to add uh, like subtlety to your lighting setup and a lot of like nuance to what your light is doing without adding a lot of noise to your scene. And let's see, just back this up so that we can get a decent bit of spread right at my model that I have here. And let's see what sort of render that gets me uh, yeah nothing too crazy uh, oh, and then uh, and then you can see I was getting really crisp shadows by default uh, to define the radius of your light you can plug that number in here and the larger your radius the softer the shadows you'll get are uh, coming out back here. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, I can uh, scatter a few of these around uh, so that I can sort of get uh, some more light coming in on my model here, but. Uh, that's about all there is to it. And you can try different uh, types of lights and different IES profiles to get fluorescence or incandescence, LEDs. There's IES profiles for all sorts of things. Uh, let me just let's see what this looks like. Render, refresh, and yeah. Uh, still not the, the best sort of setup there, but uh, you can see all of these sorts of neat little shapes, and it really just uh, yeah 
can help add uh, a lot of subtle details, like I said, without adding a lot of noise to your scene. And you can get some, like, all that photorealistic lensing uh, that comes with the light. It can be uh, a really nice and effective tool to use here in the program. And if for one and if for one reason or another, when you plug in your IES file, it doesn't work right away. Uh, it says that uh, there's a note right here in the documentation. Hey, you always want to have the file start with tilt none, and uh, which you can just open it up in like Notepad or something like that, and uh, and edit the file, and then uh, once it is able to recognize the file from whatever extra uh, from del getting rid of whatever extra text might be in there, then it should work right away. So yeah, photometric lights very useful. Uh, can give you some really interesting results, and uh, yeah, that's about all there is to it. All right, uh, have a nice week, life, day, uh, whatever you need to have. Uh, may it be nice. Hope that was educational. Uh, goodbye.